Hey there everyone, we're going to jump right in with a little bit of a holiday project and we are going to paint a Pilgrim Mousy, Mouseling. This is from uh, the Reaper 3536 Thanksgiving Mouselings kit and we're going to do just the female, I guess I am. You can paint along if you want. It came as a set of three. It's got the uh, pilgrim with the musket, which we're not going to paint. The uh, Indian pilgrim with a acorn, which we're not going to paint. We're going to focus on her. And this first video is purely going to be prep. This is metal miniature, so be easy to work. So let me introduce my lovely set of assistants. A little blue sanding stick. A little white sanding stick, a uh, another sanding stick. I think I got all those at Hobby Lobby. One of your standard files that's pretty caked in. I forget what I was. Oh yeah, gesso. And then two super itty bitty files that I got in Japan. Don't expect you to have those, but they should be around here somewhere. First thing I'm going to do because it's annoying me to no end is on the bottom here it's got this little nub. I've already taken off quite a bit of just a little vent flash that was there. That was one of the little nubs. And I think there's another one right there. Pretty quick solution. So, I was looking this over before I started the video. Got a little tool here. And if it would focus, that would be wonderful. But, come on. There you go, kind of. There is a mold line that goes... Oh, no, that's a, a strap. There is a mold line right here on the top of her hat, her bonnet. It goes down here, and it kind of disappears into the cornucopia. But it also comes around and it disappears back behind here. So I don't see it very well for there. So I am just going to focus for right now just on this little top mold line. And of course, once we get it worked, and that's with the regular file. I also just use this little sanding stick to get it done. Although I have probably the coarser one, probably work better. that does scratch it up quite a bit but good primer will probably cover that up and yeah the mold line I was looking for it's about the same size me looking at it there's a little nub there sharp little point in there somewhere but I think for the most part ah right there on the edge of the bonnet it's probably impossible to see on video. It's nearly impossible for me to see it here. Probably the easiest way would have been to prime it and pretend to paint it because once you paint it you find all the little mistakes. You can focus if you want to. Ah, I should get a new camera. So let's I'm gonna try to zoom in really close here. No, nope, I can do it for me. It'll focus on my fingernails, but it won't focus on the figure. Probably because it's shiny or something. So let me just that mold line went down here. It's kind of on the edge of the cape, and then across the top of the corner. Ah, right there on the top of the cornucopia very thin fin lines fin lines? what am I trying to say? mold lines very thin mold line so there shouldn't be any problem this may have just not been cast that many times I know I think I've had this for a while I'm just using my finger 
kind of find sharp points to just kind of hit it down along the edge just for my own sake then just looking it over of course that's luckily in focus I really don't see any other mold line so I'm gonna call the prep work on this one or at least getting the mold line done it's finished so let's just do a little bit of pre-planning I will probably brush this with a brass brass wheel just to make it shiny and then dull it with some brush on primer I will do all that off camera because one it's noisy and two you don't really need to see me just slathering things on so the blue the dress I've kinda of decided on blue and I'm going to try to do it like a four petaled daisy pattern with a little dot of yellow in the middle I think I will do the bonnet in the same colors so same colors up top and bottom the ribbon holding it on I think maybe the same color or dark blue maybe just black black would probably be decent this is upside down but there you go you can see it right side up you know the two pumpkins that's easy enough well, there's a ribbon in the back probably try to paint that in black or white I don't really want to do black or white so let's maybe do dark blue dark blue and then we'll do light blue dress she will be a brown mouse I believe she's got a little bit of a pocket for an eye that's no problem the cornucopia I was trying to see earlier and I think it's just going to be gourds piling out of there I don't see any corn or anything like that uh, maybe that was corn she's got her hand sitting on top of the cornucopia we'll paint that in a light brown her little tail there will be pink the base we will probably try to do I keep saying the royal we I apologize probably do that in like a light green maybe a light brown if I do a light brown you know, dirty old grass that's gonna kinda hide the cornucopia but it would kinda fit with the pumpkins I'll have to think about that I could just do dirt well if I did dirt it'd be the same color so I'll have to think about the base but light brown mouse pink ears pink tail pink mouth try to do some different colors around her face painting in those in there and getting those eyes painted is going to be interesting and I'll look very close up with magnifying glass on these this cornucopia and see everything we have to paint on that so yeah, I think the corn might be here it's something down there you know, her eyes really deep set in here so that's gonna be fun especially trying to paint that brim right there but anyway hopefully I'll have this finished before Thanksgiving and we'll have at least one little mouseling to set on the mantle for Thanksgiving at least American Thanksgiving you Canadians are early anyway that's gonna be a short video like I said I'm gonna prime it and put it on a little temporary base for painting and we'll do that We'll start on the base coats in the next video. See you around.